Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Connection. In our last class, we have completed the patient part. In this class, I am going to teach about the uh, user part. Right now, what you are going to do, the user? I am going to do the thing is just the user. The user creation. I am going to do here is we have to uh, make the right. So I need uh, this one uh, last name, gender, uh, user creation, and role. So you have to make the role okay so here what you're going to do is we have to to make the role as well so here uh, user creation part you have to go to the database database is mysql work patch so you have to open up the database Right now here, it's a Apollo or spell this one here. This one should be the user. First name, last name, email, password, and role. So we no need the role. Uh, email here, gender we need. No need the gender. But gender also we are defined as a doctor and uh, doctor and uh, patient. So we no need the gender bar, right? So we need this field only, doctor or role. So here, instead of doing the combo box, simply we have write the radio box, radio bar. It's a very best way to handle the program. You have to get the radio button for, from this palette. Uh, you have to get the radio button from the palette. Where's the radio here? You just drag and drop it. Drop it. Drag and drop it. So here we have to align correctly. After that, you have to write it here. Uh, right here. Now here what you are going to do is here I am going to make it as a role doctor patient That's it. doctor or patient we have to make the role as doctor or patient perfect right we did that role successfully now what you are going to do is we done the doctor role uh, the role as well so you have just select both order on the shift key down and right click properties here you have to front you have little bit increase 14 with bold click ok right perfect now we will be able to select if you want to the patient you will be able to select the patient if it is a doctor you will be able to select the doctor you have to increase the size bigger You have to make the selection right so you have to align successful correctly right perfect right now what you're going to do is after that uh, we have to make the code part you have to go to the code part uh, let's this is the save button so that the, here you have to make it as rb doctor this one change your right click rb patient Double click on this save button. Okay, what you're going to see here? The same thing you have to go to the patient. Yes, the patient is the patient. So the patient, the, the patient table, the same thing you have to auto engrave one part, you have to set it over here as well. Here also we have the user also you have set the auto increment part. Right, so here we have to check the auto agreement part here the last insert id one split here to make it as this one p and user u here also u we have set it as a u but this is a generate the user id user id the user id right so what's the problem like the user id uh and close product 
I want to put the close bracket here. That's a perfect type. Now what you're going to say of this user ID, you have to copy this. You have to write the table ID from user table. So user table. So user table here. So user table. Right, user table ID. Right. So make sure the table, right? So this one you have to just copy this ID here, paste it over here. Select this one. Try and get block. It generated successfully here also the problem. Again here select. You have to paste it. So you have to make it as a try and catch this one. Block it. Right, perfect. Right, so the perfect, you have done it. Now what, what I'm going to do is you have done the successful that that's stuff. After that, what you're going to do is we have to add the insert code. Right, so you have to add the insert code. So this is a button where we have to add the insert code. Right. So what you're going to do is the same thing for the patient. Uh so here we ask the patient, this is a patient. The same thing, we have just copy it. Go back to the user, we we'll paste them, right? We no need to write again. We have to change it as according to the user DTO. That's a user DTO. This is a user DTO. We have passed all this field, we have set it over here. Right, same thing we have to do it here as well. Okay, which is one you said is a user DTO. User DTO. User user DTO. Right. Select this one, import. Right. Now here we have to write a uh, what are the things we need? Use the first name, last name, email, doctor and patient. Right. First name, last name, email. Check out set the uh, email and the things of email here. If you haven't set the password, if you haven't here set the password field yet, right? The password also we need. Email password, you just copy this, control C, copy, control V, paste here. This one should be the password. Password is must, right? The user password. You have a no need to, you have to set the password text field from the list. This is a password field. You have just drag and drop it. This is important field for, for us, right? So you have to select this one, right click, change variable txt password right right click edit set backspace to delete the existing items right perfect now what you're going to do is we done so far well back to my source uh i'm going to go to do the progress email after that we have to generate a password so email so email password right. password in order to generate the password we have to make a security Right, in the util packet you have to make the security. So you have to go to this jar file. You have to download jar file. This this one, right here, J four in X this jar. Okay, you have to get this one. Okay, here this is the library. You have to download them. So I already download that, so that I no need to download again. So you have to download them. That is must, right? When you configure in the project, that is must, right? You have to download them. It goes to the respective jar website, and you have downloaded here. You have to click and download it. Here, this is jar 7. Here, this one. Right? I have already downloaded. Right? I have to uh, get them into my project. That's in util, util, util package. So, right click. Uh, so, you have to get them here. here. Right, so, here. Sorry. Here, the jar file. So, here, libraries. This library, you have to. We already have the MySQL. You have to add the another library, which is a I'm going to enable the password security field for that, right? So password security field, you have to enable, you have to add the jar file. So jar file, you have to enable this jar file as well. So you go to the respective, you have tried by crypt jar download. Here you can get the uh, jar file in the respective website. You can download and put into your project, right? That's jar file as well, right? So I already downloaded. I have to adapt it to the library. It's not, uh, it's not jar, right? So, so you have got to select the 
libraries folder so libraries folder add jar folder i already downloaded you have to download them uh, jar file share this one right here this file if you are if you are downloaded this one it is coming like this here you have to get you have to put into your project here right after that what you're going to do is you have to edit the password field enums uh, the the utils select here java class you have to write the password config the password config you have to add this line so you have to i will show you this line you have to add it public string encrypt uh here this one string return bcrypt hash password you have to add enable this one you have to add the classes also this one import this right so this library you have to enable to get the security okay so okay what is the path for your text coming here it make it as a decrypt format what is the password you type on the text field it is written here it is a 10 it's 10 time it will be security make a security path get the do the security it will be decrypted here so that it is a make a security part of the configuration part okay, you have to make it as here right after done the security part what you're going to do is you have to call it here new password config right password config dot this one password config dot Uh, you have to write a pa new password config. Uh, what is the thing? So it is just import the package. That's why, right? Dot the encrypt. Here you have to make it as a txt password dot get text. Get text. That's the thing you have to write, get text. Comma, we have a radio buttons as well. We have a radio buttons. We have to make the if and, if and else condition. So we have to write, make it as simply. I've done it here. This one should be the only, only one condition we have to write here. RB doctor dot is selected. This is, a, is selected. Is selected. This is a radio button. So it's a if and else. Okay. okay. Account type. Okay, this account type. You have to make it as account time is a you know enough so the account type right account type you write account type doctor why it's not coming name your correct name you have to put it here doctor patient the doctor or patient patient right you have to write it here uh what is it you have to write it here import the enums that's it here it's working that's the thing you have to write it over here right so after done the stuff uh you open and close bracket right here is a close bracket here you have did the close bracket over here right we don't need a close bracket here right we have did the things well okay user what a user dot right now what you are going to do is we have user table d to write like this right here what you are going to do is after that we have to put into here uh, insert into which table I'm going to store the record. I'm going to insert the record into which table user table. Insert into user. Right. ID is a generate ID. Auto ID as ID. This ID. Right. First name, last name, email. This one should be there. What's the things? We have to write it here. 
पास ईमेल पासवर्ड कमा रोल ओके पासवर्ड रोल सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स यू नीड अ सिक्स वन सिक्स दिस वन शुड बी द यूजर फर्स्ट नेम गेट लास्ट नेम पा ईमेल after that what you are going to see after the email for the password so password will also you copy and paste it over here user so password password also you have to implement as a get username and password you write out get password user get password after that what you are going to see the final one should be the selected so select doc video button also Things is selected. So account type. So you write dot. Uh, you write a dot. Get account type. Account type. Okay, account type. Dot. You make it as a name. That's the thing you write it over here. That's it. The things you write it here. This one we don't need them. That's it. That's thing you write. Okay, so the other things are same. Record added, everything is look fine. Is there any error? No, it's indicated. Now let's check it back. It's working now fine or not? Rajesh, Ravi, R J at Gmail dot com. password 1 2 3 4 it's a doctor save hit save button uh, one error what the error all right sql connection ah no value specified for parameter 6 mean if they are get any error you must try to solve it here okay what the problem is here you can see here this is the yes, six i have gave the given five But this understand one two three four three six here also three such six question mark left. Right. Okay, you have to understand what you get the error you are getting. Rajesh Ravi R at gmail dot com password sir not this user Rajesh Ravi R at gmail dot com password one two three I just put it one two three doctor save here record error successfully now let's back to here check it back user select all here it's working perfectly well here you can see here the auto increment part is useful the first name last name here your hash password is here you have successfully worked it right now I'm going to make another record. So I want to make the another record, so I have to make it. First name John, second name James, email address j at gmail dot com. Yes sir, password I just what our password? It's a patient. Hit save button. I put it at. Now let's back it and check it. Here this this time it's a patient. Okay, it's working successfully. Well. Right, so you have to do the things well. I hope you guys will understand the things well. I'll see you in my next lecture. Thank you.